This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. It is a fact that i is the square root of negative 1. But have you ever wondered what the square root of i is? Let's see what it is and how to calculate it. The square root of i will be a number of the form a plus b times i, where we have to find a and b to find the square root of i. In equation form, we have that the square root of i is equal to a plus b times i. Now squaring both sides, we get that i is equal to a plus b times i squared, which is equal to a squared plus 2 times a times b times i plus b squared times i squared. Now this is equal to a squared minus b squared because i squared is equal to negative 1 plus 2 times a times b times i. When are two complex numbers equal? Well, two complex numbers are equal only if their real part and imaginary parts are equal to each other. For example, a plus b times i is equal to c plus d times i only if a is equal to c and b is equal to d. Now we have two different equations using the principle that we just learned. a squared minus b squared is equal to 0 because the real parts are equal to each other and 2 times a times b is equal to 1 because the imaginary coefficients are equal to each other. From the first equation, we get that a squared is equal to b squared. We're taking the square root of both sides. a is either equal to positive b or negative b. From the second equation, we know that the product is a positive one half, so that the variables a and b must be equal. If they were opposite to each other, the product would have been negative. Thus, Using substitution in the first equation, substituting a for b, we get that 2a squared is equal to 1, or that a squared is equal to 1 half. Taking the square root of both sides, we get that a is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 divided by 2. Remember that we have to rationalize the denominator. Therefore, i has two square roots like most positive numbers do. The first one is the square root of 2 divided by 2 plus the square root of 2 times i divided by 2. And the second square root is minus the square root of 2 divided by 2 minus the square root of 2 times i divided by 2. Both of these square roots are valid. Don't think these work. Check them to be sure. Once you realize that i is just like any other number, it becomes easier to digest that i has square roots. Watch our video on... Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos and be sure to hit that like button. See you in the next video.